Do you know what this means? It's beginning to look a lot like vlogmas. <laughs> I wasn't actually prepared to sing. I didn't know I was going to do that. <clears throat> I didn't really warm up my vocals. So if I didn't sound like Mariah Carey just now, then <sighs> give me a minute. <sighs> give me a minute. So I have a list of things that I want to make. A list of content that I want to do for vlogmas. Things that we can do together. Crafts we can do together. We're going to bake. We're going to decorate. I've kind of made it a tradition as of last year that I'll do an advent calendar with you guys every year. And I usually just get whatever's inexpensive. I'm not too concerned about getting these really expensive ones because I would like you guys to do it with me if you want. So Ulta has like a, I think it's under 20 bucks and it's 12 days of beauty and it's a little advent. Last year I did Sephora's and I really liked it. I actually have still, it broke because I manhandled it, but I still have this blush from last year and this lipstick and they are my favorite. So I, I actually genuinely liked what I got in the Sephora advent. I love this lip color. It's the perfect mauve, mauve, mauve uh, liquid lip. And it's a really comfortable, nice liquid lip for the price that I paid for all of that makeup. Came with a little nail file, a little clear polish. I already used it all up from last year. The blush, I mean, it was really actually handy stuff that I genuinely use. Don't feel like it's, you know oh, it's cheap crap and you're just gonna not use it and throw it away. No, I used it. I straight up used it and <laughs> it was so worth it. So I really enjoyed that. I wanna see what Ulta's is like and compare and then that'll help me decide next year what I decide to do. Let's just get downstairs, start decorating. I'll show you what I'm working with and what I'm inspired by. Then we will head to the mall and get my advent calendar. All right, here is what we are working with. This is the color scheme. Just imagine all of the pumpkin stuff gone. I want the table to be silver and gold. So that will be the, the color scheme. I have a lot of Christmas ornaments and such that are in that silver and gold theme. So this will be really easy to do with things I already had. That's what I love about making a new table every year. I can switch it out, but still use a lot of the things I have, but make it look different. I have some doilies and things I've pulled out. I have gold charger plates. I have this cheese board that I was gifted for our wedding from my aunt. I have some napkins, some napkin rings, votive candle holder. These actually match, but obviously not pumpkin. And then all of the hurricane glass candle holders. So this will be the vibe. And we're gonna get to decorating, people. Oh, okay. What's making that noise? snow tree oh yes my snow trees these i got last year if you were around for that vlogmas i was so excited when i found these thrifting they are perfect for a table so these are possibly gonna make it because i do want some green on the table but no red we're not doing any sort of red i have pine cones these might be good for adding an element of natural natural materials He's silver and gold. He could be on the table, right? I feel like the the garbage lady on, I, I reference her a lot because I'm a thrifter. Uh, the lady on Labyrinth that's like, oh, there you go. Here's your teddy bear. Don't you love your teddy bear? Oh, here's a treasure. You'll want that, won't you, my dear? Yes, go on, put it on, make yourself up. Go on, make yourself up. <laughs> I feel like her all the time. There's Charlie Bear for you. Like all the time. Here is a lovely, Christmas tree that just needs a little sprucing up. Get it? <laughs> sprucing. Oh, 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 no. <laughs> okay, I'm done. <laughs> I'm not allowed. I'm not allowed on the internet anymore. <laughs> what else? What else? These are the jingle bells. I usually try to put them on a door, but they're obnoxious. I'm not really a sound person. I don't like obnoxious sounds. A lovely little gold Merry Christmas sign, which that's just going to be used to, te to decorate with his and hers. Little furry stockings. I love our stockings. I honestly still love them. They're just simple. They're great colors. Just really nice neutral tones. And I hang these on the railing by the staircase. And then I do dog stockings as well, which I do think we could use maybe some new ones for them. But how perfect would this be? This garland for the table, because this is exactly the kind of thing I'm going for. So maybe I could just kind of set this around the table. 
you know, with the burlap and then this kind of woven throughout the table with things around it. And it's got this boucle star with the gold. That's perfect. So this is a new thing, which is exciting. And this is why it's so nice to give and get gifts every year of something Christmassy, even if they open it on Christmas, because then they can just use it in their next Christmas decor. And it's something they can look forward to the following year. So that's really good. All right, I think we've got enough. Okay, here is the table. This is what it will look like in the evenings where the lights are a little bit lower and it's dark in the house, which will be really, really lovely. I think just for an ambient, low, kind of moody Christmas vibe. And I really want to do some black in here. So the candles are black, the votives. I want to get some really skinny tall tapers, but for now those will do. I just, that's all I had left was these two little nibs. I put the charger plates down just so I can see what the Christmas setting is going to look like. It's just going to be my husband and I for Christmas and that's because we did Thanksgiving with our family so we're just going to stay home and I think this looks really great. It definitely is the vibe I was going for and I think looks really close to a lot of my inspirations that I saw on Pinterest so I want to get lots of photos of it so I can also upload this to Pinterest for anyone else who is decorating. I did a little bit of decorating out here. The nutcracker is in his place. This is where I like to have him. And the janky tree <laughs> is over there. I like how it's a very Charlie Brown Christmas tree looking like sad, almost Simpsons even tree. Okay, I just wanted to show you what I threw on. This is the outfit I had on today. I don't think I've shown it to you. I've made a complete mess of the house, so please ignore all the piles everywhere, but it takes a lot of messes to create Christmas decor. <laughs> it's just piles of stuff. Things to do places to go, people to see. I'm at Ulta. It's so weird. We've been having this lately, but it's another one of those weird foggy mists. We've had a lot of foggy mists lately. What is this all about? I used to work in Ulta's for Smashbox and Tarte. So these iconic orange awnings will forever in my mind remind me of going to work during the holidays, AKA hell in a handbasket. Turns out we are going to get our Christmas tree. It's a nice looking tree. Pink? Pink? Oh, uh, does it have the crossbars across them? Oh, that's all I need. Oh, yep, that's all I need. Okay. Thank you. Do you want a quick photo? Kind of line that up so I can slam it down. Slammed. Yeah, center. Uh, uh, oh, I can't see it. It's so bushy, Bob. It's so bushy. Look at those brows. <laughs> she went in hard. I already woke up and had one of those mornings <laughs> where it feels like everything that you do and touch is just telling you to go back to bed. I got out my Baja mug because my mugs are representation of how I'm feeling that day. If you're ever wondering what kind of mood I am deep down in my soul, my coffee mug is a tell. <laughs> Here it is. Here it is. 12 days of beauty. Look, it's really adorable. It looks like a little dollhouse. I really like that that it opens up. I've worked it out that since I'm doing a weekly Vlogmas for the next four weeks, that <laughs> I can open three per week. First of all, figure out how to open it. She can do math, but can she open a box? This is number one. Compared to Sephora's last year, I actually don't remember it. Oh, what it looked like particularly. Oh yeah, it was little separate things. I don't remember. 
I don't remember what it looked like. That means it was not impressionable. And this one I hope is more impressionable because I do feel like I'll actually remember that this was a little adorable house. I mean, and for the price, just the packaging alone for under 20 bucks is really cool. So let's see what we got the day, first day. It's a little chubby stick. Oh, it's a cream eyeshadow. That's actually really good. Ooh, I like it. It's like a champagne. Okay, wait a minute. I was really, again, remember Sienna's lesson. Set your expectations extremely low. Really bad expectations for everything in life and that way you're pleasantly surprised. Wow, <laughs> this is nice. I, this is all I wear, these, these stick eyeshadows. It's really all I wear. Like the entire trip of, to Thanksgiving, I was just wearing these stick eyeshadows the whole time. I usually wear the Bobbi Brown, the Laura Mercier, and the Vive. I took all three because I like all three in different ways. That's nice. I wasn't expecting to, I had really low expectations, so I wasn't expecting to love anything in here. That's pretty cool. Okay, so I actually like that. <laughs> I like it. Two more to open this week. So we, should I do two? I kind of want to do two right now, and then I'll do one more in a couple days. I just feel like, I feel like it. So we're going to do number two as well. Just because we, we, we could do whatever we want. Okay, I could open all three right now if I want to. Okay. Oh, nice. Look. It's a really nice, tiny little blush. It's very pink, but I like it. If you had fair skin, that would be beautiful. It's not going to work for every skin tone is the only thing. So sometimes you see these and you're like, hmm. They should have options for different skin tones, if you ask me. But it's cute. Very cute. There you go. I'm just putting them back in there. There you go. The first two of my little beauty advent that we're doing together over the next uh, coming couple few weeks. So if you want to go get one and we can open these together, when I sit down to do the advent, we can grab a coffee, grab your advent, and we can open them together and apply them together. If you want to do it along with me, they're under 20 bucks. I'll link it below if anybody wants to get one and order one. I just placed a pickup order just to make sure, but when I got there, the front table actually had a few, quite a few of them on the front table. So I do think that starting right now, not sure how long, but they should be in stock at Ulta. Think about that, maybe, think about it. And uh, I'm gonna go decorate the tree. This is what I mean by the perfect Christmas tree. Welcome to the party. It's Christmas tree shaped. <laughs> I just think it's really, I think it's just a really good tree for as affordable as it was. The look of it, I let it drop overnight. So I feel like it's ready to be decorated in my decorating outfit of the day. I forgot about this dress. I forgot about it. I found this thrifting and it is the perfect green little tree dress. I look like a Christmas tree and I love uh, just, you know, lounging around in it. It's one of those types of dresses. It's just really cozy. We are bleached and we are toned. I only bleached the roots, so I didn't, none of this got bleach on it other than just when I rinsed it out. And I gotta say, I'm actually really impressed with this like ammonia free bleach that I used. It's my first time ever using that brand and I really like it. I think it did really nice. This is what I'm wearing. So I just wanted to toss this on because I am gonna film a quick tutorial on how I'm gonna make these date bites. A nice shout out to Marcy Ooh, with Christmas tree in the background. Oh, ah, ah, so exciting. So Marcy, shout out to Marcy. Hi Marcy, I know you watch my videos. She had the most amazing healthier 
I would say snacks and, and little desserts. And I thought I would share that because I know that during the holidays, I know I feel that I ate way too much cake and ice cream over the past weekend. And I wanna cool off a little bit from the festive eating until we get closer to Christmas because I will eat all the cookies. I will eat all of the treats and desserts if they're there. But if I don't make them and I don't buy them, then I am in control. So what you will need to do date bites is the, honestly, I don't even really have to tell you how to make this. You're probably already gonna be able to put it together in your mind because it is that easy. Honestly, it's a matter of melting chocolate, stuffing this with peanut butter and dipping it in chocolate. And then you can crush up some peanuts and throw that on top so it'll be like a snicker. We're gonna open up these dates. How about a date? I am now going to place the dates in the freezer so that they can harden up a little bit. And actually, this might be a good time to add the peanuts and just beat the crap out of them. You can skip this stuff if you've already used crunchy peanut butter. Now I have my chocolate that I've melted in a double broiler pot. All right, and now we are gonna put these back in the freezer for about 20 minutes. I've already taken a bite. And let me just tell you, <laughs> that is so good. I need to run out and do an errand. So it's dumping rain, not the ideal time to leave the house. I'd rather be cozied up editing, but <sighs> alas, I have adulting to do. So I will see you guys bright and early in the morning. We need to open up the advent calendar. Good morning. <laughs> I'm just getting up and putting on my makeup. I do my lips first because that way, while I'm doing this and talking, you guys have a lip to look at because right now they're invisible <laughs> and I'm using the Sephora liquid from last year's advent calendar I'm really hoping that this year this advent has a liquid lip in it wouldn't that be nice but let's open up number three mm, mascara no it's a brow gel oh mascara would have been nice I was just about to do that but we have a little brow gel of course it's clear so that at least is friendly to all skin tones my brows are really easy to do this morning my henna is still lasting so that's good I still have noticed that my henna is um still dyed my brows are still dyed from the henna so that's been a while that's been over a couple of weeks so that's really good. I think the uh, durability of the henna is really nice. And I honestly like it over the idea of PMU. <laughs> Don't tell anybody I said that. So right now what we're going to do is I'm first of all, I'm going to get dressed. I'm still in my PJs. I'm going to finish my makeup. And this was what I did yesterday when I was looking for some uh, ribbon and I need to find some more ribbon. So I'm actually thinking about pulling everything out and at some point today organizing my craft. So I'm gonna finish getting ready and I'll see you guys here in a sec. It's unfortunate that I have to do this as well. I have to do this twice. I'm doing a main video incorporation. You guys get the long version of the crafts that I do and then the shortened versions are on Reels and TikTok. So if you wanna join me over there, you can also follow me on Instagram and TikTok to see these before they go up on YouTube. So the only thing is, is that YouTube gets it later because I have to save it for the end of the week for the main video to go up. But yeah, spoilers all around. It is what it is. I can't make double content. I just can't. Who can do that? I brought down a basket of all of the things that I want to decorate the jars with. So I have various types of ribbon, some bows, I have some snow glitter, 
the two types of glue because I don't know which one's going to work better for the glitter on glass. And then I have black ribbon as well because I'm really enjoying having like a black Christmas. And I actually think I might use this on some of my table decor. And then we have the Epsom salts themselves, which is pomegranate and black currant with essential oils. I just thought pomegranate would be a really nice holiday Epsom. And then we also have here some lavender. These are the rose petals from the Bloomsy Box roses and I've just let them dry out. I still have the full bouquet hanging upside down drying, but I have some petals too that I can crush up and some lavender. So what I'm going to do is construct these little bath jars and I think they'd be such a cute idea to put in a stocking or in a gift box basket whatever you have and it's just a fun way to do crafty gifts because i feel like gifts that are homemade are so much more special don't you all right we're gonna open up these little bags so i can make several at a time let's start filling the jars the lovely thing about epsons is they look like snow i went ahead and crushed the rose petals all right now that they're full we can start adding in some of our dried flowers like a snow globe, give it a little shake. Once that's done, you can top the rest of it off. And there you have a little Epsom salt bath tea. Now I'm gonna make little felt hollies. I also cut out a couple of little berries. And now I have these little jewels. I. I think I just got these from a craft store in a big bag. To me, they look like little wreaths. I've made a mess, but look at all of my little hollies. Oh, the dorps. All right, now we're going to put some ornaments around the neck of each one. Perfectly. We're just going to add a little bit of snow to the bottom and this is just by adding some glue and this is just to give it a little bit more of a snow globe feel by adding a little bit of snow to the outside and now it has some sparkly snow on the outside as well What a beautiful, sunny, and somewhat warm day we have today. Unexpected. I thought we were getting nothing but rain all weekend. So pleasantly surprised by this. I want to take advantage of it and go take the dogs for a walk. And then I uh, would like to get some footage. So what you saw in the beginning of this video was this what I'm doing right now. Isn't it funny how it goes backwards? Because then I'm gonna come home and start editing this this lovely vlogmas intro that I'm probably gonna recycle. I'll switch it up with little things, you know, but for the most part, it's gonna be the same. And then hopefully we'll get some snow so I could put that in the beginning. It's so funny because a lot of like bigger YouTubers that vlog hire companies to do entire vlogmas intro situations or like get an animator <laughs> to animate, which is just crazy. I mean, when you've got the budget, it totally makes sense. I would, I would if I had the, uh, the budget and the opportunity ever arose, <laughs> I would 100%. I think an animator would be really cool because I've always had a love for people who can cartoon. It was something I considered doing when I was younger. I thought I was going to be a cartoonist. So big time love for that. And um, anyway, I'm babbling. I, the dogs are, are ready. I hung the Christmas lights with care. <laughs> I did. Well, no, I didn't. I slapped them up there because honestly, I, I don't do well on ladders. I'm not comfortable on ladders. I, especially when there's like a drop over the side of a railing. <laughs> 
I still have, you wouldn't believe, I still have so many Christmas crafts. You should see my list. It's insane. I have more than I know what to do with and it feels like every day a new one comes in. My mom is sending them to me. She's sending me all these ideas. <laughs> I'm just like, yes! It's great, and if you haven't followed Sienna and the Craftsman on Instagram yet, please do, because that honestly is gonna have exclusive video content that I'm not gonna have on my main Instagram anymore. I don't wanna use up too much space talking about this, because I just realized my camera is like running out. So I'm gonna stop talking. Uh, we've got the dogs all ready to go. They're getting impatient with me. I've just I got on my normal uh, walking gear, which I like to wear a vest because I overheat quick. But let's go get some footage of my little Pacific Northwest town and add that to the beginning of the video. guys it is so freaking festive in here I'm so excited about it <laughs> I am just about to shoot what you saw in the beginning of this video which is the vlogmas intro I've gotten dressed for the day I did some pretty uh, hardcore makeup and you know I'm committing to a look when I put lash glue on my eyes because that means tomorrow I'll probably have swollen eyelids but like I said uh, this one doesn't seem to be as bad especially well I do plan on wearing it all day I was gonna say especially if I don't have it on for a long time this is what I've decided to wear for my intro this is a vintage dress by a brand called Amy 2 I actually don't remember where I bought this, uh, but it is vintage and I think that's an appropriate choice for my Christmas intro. What an adorable dress. And it's two layered. It has like a little silky underdress. Of course a harness because I need to edge it up a little bit and have it be a little bit more me. The last Christmassy thing I'm going to do this week is I'm gonna add a little bit of garland to my railing here because I wanna take Christmas photos hopefully tonight hopefully. And so it needs some greenery on it. I feel like it looks really nice, but it could be leveled up a little bit. So what I'm actually going to do is trim the bottom of our Christmas tree because I can't get to it to water it. It's too bushy. All right, I'm going to get this going and I'll reconvene afterwards. Since I already have all of these ribbons tied on here, I'm literally just tucking it into the ribbons that were already set. And then I'm honestly, I'm just opening up the little bows that I had for the stockings, tucking it under the ribbon and into each other, wrapping the bow around that to secure it in the place. That looks so good. And this is just great too because I was gonna cut this off my tree anyway and I feel like repurposing everything you have, especially since I feel like you know, garland is kind of pricey <laughs> for something that falls on the ground. Hi! <laughs> oh my god, that should be my thumbnail. Make sure it's the green side out because there actually is like a lighter color side and then a deeper green side. Oh, that looks so good! And there it is. That looks so much better. It really needed that little extra something on the railing to make it look a little bit more, you know. I keep wanting to say spruced up. <laughs> I'm not allowed to do any more dad jokes or mom jokes or what do you want to call it in this video because that was bad. <laughs> Ta-da! The wreath is done. It looks great. I love it. And that little video was up on Sienna and the Craftsman. Don't forget to go follow it. I think that's going to be it for this week's festive holiday vlogmas. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I made so much stuff this week. Oh my god. But I am in a creative full throttle vehicle that I cannot slow down. So if you guys are here for it, let's do this. Let's do this. <laughs>
let's do this thank you so much for watching this video please subscribe if you're not and give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed it that really shows me and lets me know that you guys are enjoying my videos so it makes all the difference and i'll see you guys on next week's vlogmas <laughs> it's so exciting it really is i love christmas <laughs> okay see you guys later bye